While it Wednesday time, real estate in the Portland area is red hot right now. And uh, if you waited until now to try and buy your first home, chances are you're pulling your hair out. There are some things you want to know before you start your search. This morning, uh, we have your do's and don'ts when it comes to home buying. Uh, joining us live to share her advice is local mortgage industry expert, Tammy Wittren. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me this morning. Yeah. How uh, tough is the market right now? How hot is it? You know, I have some really great news. Uh, rates are holding. The market is awesome. But I will tell you, home buyers may have an opportunity to get their offers accepted because it's cooled down just a bit. Oh, okay. that's good news. That's good. So yeah, it's awesome. What are some of the biggest mistakes that you see from first time home buyers? You know, the biggest mistake is they don't reach out to a lender soon enough. You know, home, home buying is super confusing. There's so much conflicting information on the internet. And the truth is you need a reputable realtor and you need a reputable lender to help you through the process. And this process is confusing if you don't have someone there on the other side to walk you through it. My encouragement is always first call lender, someone referred to you by friends, family, coworker, and your realtor and talk to that, that lender. Loan officers want to spend time with clients and qualify them and walk them through all the hardships that may occur during the home buying process. Yeah, so it's good to be, uh, to be qualified for a loan before you even get the house. Yeah, You're, before you jump into the fray. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, give us some do's and don'ts for first time buyers. You know, guys, the first thing I would say is, Please don't try to help by pulling your own credit and doing all that futzing that people seem to do with credit. Um, the industry, mortgage industry, uses an algorithm that is programmed into the system using the um, lenders out there, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, VA, USDA, Jumbo Lending. We are all programmed to use a what's called a tri-merge credit report. Now, there are all kinds of things that you can use to pull credit, like Credit Karma, et cetera, but they're not accurate. Reach out to your lender, talk to them, have them pull your credit first. Then don't close accounts, don't consolidate accounts, don't start doing anything to your credit until you talk to someone so they can advise you. Then don't move money around, don't get a big fat gift, don't pile money in your checking account, don't close accounts, don't move money. Let us help you navigate that. And then stay employed, no job changing. We want consistency and stability throughout the mortgage process. So reach out to your lender first, let them walk you through the process. Don't futz around with your credit, don't quit your job, and don't put any big old lump sums of money into your checking or savings account. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's some stuff that I know when when I was looking for my condo, you know, they told me like, don't, no big purchases. And and you would think like, oh, I'm going to get ready to move and close on this house. I'm going to go yes. buy some new furniture. Mm -hmm. And it's little things like that that can totally derail the process. So how, mm -hmm. has the, uh, how has the pandemic really kind of changed up the market? What do people need to know now that's different from even a couple of years ago? You know, most importantly, you know, people can work from home and they can work anywhere. And we have lots of folks moving from other states into Oregon, but lenders will require that you can work remote. And we require that you get a letter from your employer that states you can work remote. Some people are temporarily remote only because of the pandemic. So it's important that if you are re relocating to Oregon, you can get a work remote letter. And again, Emily, like you said, no big purchases, just don't buy anything, just hold. Call a loan officer to help walk you through the single biggest purchase of your life and really care for you and nurture you through that process. Yeah, as we uh, finish up this interview, uh, great information here. Uh, so just reiterate uh, what resources are available. If I'm a first time home buyer, where can I go to kind of get through all of this? You know, most of your uh, lenders out there have first time home buyer classes. Myself at NFM Lending, we do a quarterly virtual home buyer seminar. Fannie Mae, uh, com, freddiemack.com, both have really good first time home buyer uh, classes. Your lender can get you um, enrolled in a home buyer program, first time home buyer class as well, put on by all the private mortgage insurance companies. And then of course there's the Portland housing and all of those grant programs. But what I would tell you, the best place to start 
is with a referred loan officer to really make sure that you're not going down a rabbit hole looking for a program that you're not going to qualify for anyway. Yeah, some good tips. Mortgage industry expert Tammy Whitman, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Have a good one. Thanks so much. See you guys. Yeah, and if you're looking for more home buying tips, you can check out Tammy's company, NFM Lending in Oregon City.